This is a Dilton Wetzel Manufacturing Company electric soybean roaster. This particular unit is a one ton per day capacity. Very easy to operate if you see the control panel on there, thermostatically controlled. You just push the up arrow if you see the number changing there. That's the number that you want to roast at. After you get the desired temperature, then you push the enter button. And that's what they'll be roasted at. The current time on this, I had it set at about 310 degrees, roughly. They roast very, very evenly, much more so than a flame roaster. You will not get burned, undercooked, or overcooked beans through this machine. I put a little hopper on the top so you can see where they go in. Um, all you have to do is take a larger hopper, put it above the machine, say a 500 bushel machine, and you can just feed them in. They gravity feed. You can let the machine run 24 hours a day. No danger of fire, as with a flame roaster. This uh, vent on the top, the pipe coming off, when you first start the machine, you'll get a little bit of oil that will come out of that as the oil expands until you get it to the operating temperature that you want to use it at, and that will stop just the first time that you turn it on. I put a thermometer on the end, it kind of gives you an idea of the temperature of the beans as they're cooling down and coming out of the end of the roaster. The machines don't have any heat applied to them from here back. That acts as a steeping chamber for the beans to get a chance to cool down so that when they come out of the machine on the end down here, you can put them directly into a pile. You don't have to cool them as you do with flame roasted beans. I'll slide the plate here and you can see the rollers. The rollers are going to touch the beans. Those two bars along the top, those are rare earth magnets that will catch any metallic items that you might have had accidentally introduced into your beans before you roast them. I'll pull the cover off and you can see it a little better. Gives you an idea of the beans as they come out going through the crusher unit. If you take a look at the beans, you can see how evenly roasted they are. machine they're not burned undercooked or overcooked here's a sample out of the same machine these are whole beans that have not been run through the crusher give you an idea of the quality roast if you need something larger than a one ton capacity we also manufacture a four ton capacity machine that's this one I'll give you an example it has the same kind of digital electronic controls on it there's the wiring panels for it same thing, your beans go in here, you just put a hopper above this and your beans will gravity feed through it. This machine is 31 feet long, weighs roughly 5,200 pounds when it's filled with oil. It, it operates just the same as the smaller one, only on a larger capacity. The last 10 feet on the machine down here, there is no heat applied from here down that acts as a steeping chamber just like on the smaller one so that when the beans come out, they're cooled down enough that you can direct pile them. That's the second roaster that we make. If you have any other questions, you can go on the internet to dilkswetzel.com, get some information there. Or if you'd like to talk to me, this is Jim Wetzel. My number is 989-763-0880.